In this video, we will show you how to replace your front headlamp assembly on this Lincoln Navigator. You'll have two of these, one on either side of the front of the vehicle. Let's get into it. Okay friends, let's get started on removing our headlamp assembly. To remove this, it's going to be fairly simple overall. To gain access to some of the wiring, we're going to have to remove two push clips that hold down this trim panel. There's one right here, you can use an angled pick. We'll take out the center and then remove the outer portion as well. Slide those together and set this aside. We'll do the same for this push clip. With both of those out of there, we can continue on to lifting up the trim panel. Once you have that up, you can continue on to this electrical harness. This leads down to the headlamp assembly. To disconnect the harness, we'll come right along this area. There's a small squeeze tab. Once you have that pressed in, you should be able to dislodge this. Every time you disconnect an electrical connector, take a peek. If you see any funny colors, that would be corrosion and it would have to be dealt with. This looks fine, we'll set it aside. Now we can start dismounting the headlamp assembly from the vehicle. On these headlamps, you're going to find that you have two tabs that you should be able to lift up. We'll carefully use a pry bar, gently get underneath this area, and lift it up and out of place. Set this aside. We'll do the same to the other corner. Take hold of your headlamp assembly, give it a little wiggle, and remove it from the vehicle. Once you have that pulled away from the vehicle, you're going to find that you have three wires leading to the back of the headlamp assembly. You have one for the marker bulb over here. There's a squeeze tab where my thumb is. We'll squeeze this in. A quick check for corrosion. You can set that one aside. Now as we make our way along, you'll find that you have the center connector. We've already disconnected that. Make your way all the way over to the directional signal. On this, you should find that you have two tabs, one where my index finger is, and a second one down along the bottom. On the bottom on ours, it's broken. But typically for this, you would just grab onto the tab, gently pull it away, and lift it up and off of here. A quick check for corrosion, and set that wiring aside. And there it is, friends. All right, friends, it's time to install our brand new front headlamp assembly. Before we do, Let's have a look at the top and the back side. Along the top, you can tell that we have a level indicator. As you make your way towards the back side, you're going to find the alignment points. You can come to each of these and make your adjustment for the beam, aligning the beam as needed. Now that I pointed those out, let's get ready for the installation. We'll take that electrical connector, slide it right through this big hole. Continue on to your marker assembly. Slide that in, listen for a click. Give it a tug to make sure that's secure. We'll move along to the directional. Get this aligned, press it in as well. Listen for a click, make sure that's secured. Now you can slide this into place. Once you feel as though you have it properly in place, continue on to locking it in position. Slide this into the proper groove and slide it all the way down to the locked position. Continue on to your final electrical connector. We'll get this aligned, slide it into position. Listen for a click, make sure it's secure. Bring this down to the proper placement. Now we can put in our push tabs that hold down the trim panel. Okay friends, we showed you how to install one side of your front headlamp assemblies. The next thing that you want to do is test its functionality. As you can tell, it looks and functions perfectly. The process for one side will be the same for the other. Aside from that, thanks for watching.
Now we're going to get the vehicle ready to aim the headlights. Start with the tire pressure, making sure all four tires are set at the appropriate pressure. Remove any excessive weight that's not normally in the vehicle. Find a wall that you can drive up to where the ground is level. Measure 25 feet away from that wall and mark the ground. Drive your vehicle up to that mark. With the headlights off, look for the center dot in the headlight lens. Measure from the ground to that center dot. You can use a ruler to help you out. Transferring that measurement to the wall, making a mark with some tape. On the driver's side, measure down 4 inches, putting another piece of tape. For the passenger side, you only need to measure down 2 inches. Now turning the headlights on, it is easier to do this at night or in a dark area. Locating your headlight adjuster and using a Phillips head screwdriver, turn your adjuster one way or another to bring the headlight up or down. Once the headlight is adjusted to the tape mark on the wall, move on to the next headlight. If you're confused because the beams seem to blend together, you can always have someone stand in front of the other headlight while you make your adjustments for that one. Now your headlights are aligned and you're all set to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.